Hey everyone, how's it going? Part 2 now for the Blackguard scenario. Um, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot in this part, or this cut of a part. I'm going to be building up this secondary base right here, and obviously you can see huge army that Yusa brings in right away. And you want to get rid of it as quickly as possible, because they will go for your secondary base, which I'm in the process of building right now. Uh, and you might have to take a decoy unit or two to take them out. Hopefully not. You want to take out their ranged units first, obviously. Ideally, take out their cavalry archers as well, and maybe the mamluks or two. Uh, take out these siege onagers, target them. Yes, very good, very good. Alright, so take them out, take them out. They will go for your outposts, like for some reason they they love the outposts. Uh, and take out these cavalry archers in the rear. Uh, three plus attack against buildings, as I mentioned before. And, uh, alright, so he took out the scorpion very easily there. So let's uh, try to convert these guys over. I'm not sure at one point uh, that he gets here uh, heresy. So we'll try to get this Mamluk out of here and draw maybe over closer to this the, the castle, the behemoth. And is that out of range? Yes, it is. And you also want to get be able to get Bodkin Arrow pretty soon here as well. So it's too far away or not enough faith? Okay. So uh, now we can get Bodkin Arrow. And now with this almost yeah, that should be all built up. And that's a little weird. I didn't mean to do that. Where's the architect for this? Seriously. So, um, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to build a additional uh, wall right there. That's probably the same thing, but it gives me a little more peace about that. And uh, now that I'm getting hit pretty good, you want to send a decoy out, and I'm going to use El Cid to be my decoy. And sorry for things moving a little slow right now in terms of video. Um, my computer's just been on under a lot of stress apparently lately after I deleted uh, a couple of my parts uh, narration files. So this uh, coming out of this base will draw um, some of these units towards you now. You can just have uh, El Cid run around for a while in situations like this while the siege onager tries to hit it. Uh, and I don't really care about these pikemen. I'm gonna I was gonna kill them eventually anyways. Um, and you can tell right now this is kind of the assault that Yusuf uses. Uh, quite often. Now we're going to bring El Cid back into our base because he's getting hit pretty good and there's no reason to put him in too much harm. And the pikemen are actually pretty good. They're actually going to stay alive. I was pulling a King Alfonso on you. Uh, King Alfonso against El Cid on you. I'm trying to get rid of you. And uh, now with these guys, since that, that gate's partially, or that wall's up, we can bring them over here uh, and we can start getting some of the forage bushes that is over there that are over there. And she's a builder, so we can have her build a siege workshop. We want a siege workshop to be built uh, over here, somewhere inside this encampment. Doesn't really matter too much where it is. And we can send these guys over here to get gold. Uh, we're still working on the, the wood over here. And we can exploit some of the wood over here, but we don't want to exploit too much because then we'll make a little hole in our, our wall and allow them to sneak through. So there's a lot of carnage going on right there. And we're just going to have to wait it out for a while. So I'm going to get a couple more research technologies while we're at it. Uh, on screen for a little bit more. Uh, always get your resource gathering technologies first and keep these knights in one of your castles. They're going to take out some trebuchets in case they bring them later on. Um, and once I get over to this uh, forage bush over here and put down a mill, I'm going to cut it out and um, I'm just going to get all the research technologies I can up until almost the imperial age uh, and all my resources gathered and things like that. And then I'll show you how to get some more resources uh, outside your base whether that be gold or stone or wood because you're gonna have to branch out at some point or rather so we're gonna plop down this mill right here for right now it's a good spot for it you're gonna want to build another mill because you're eventually gonna be using this as your farm location as well because there's not enough room and King Alfonso's initial base so go after this and get this mining camp down which is good so I'll see you guys later still in part two but uh, we're gonna have a lot of progress done I'll show you how to get some more research YouTube's what's up back with part two of part two uh, in the black art scenario. I got a lot of work to do now. Um, I did some stuff off screen, including getting rid of this gold pile. Now there's a cactus there. Alright, little planty. And getting these mill up along with a ton of farms that I am continuing to uh, farm. And I destroyed my stable and archery range because I won't be using either of those. I won't be using any barracks units either. So I'm going to save all the gold which is in high demand and not very much of it 
in the scenario for my Mamluks, trebuchets, and bombard cannons, and I recommend you do the same. If you don't, it's going to be a long, long scenario for you because you're going to have to be super efficient in your assault against Yusuf, which then yields another gold pile, but then you're going to have to be efficient with your own naval ships as well. So it's a lot of managing to do, and I doubt you'll be that efficient because I it's tough for me to be that efficient. And I only got the upgrades that are going to benefit my Mamluks. I'm not going to be wearing with champions, with pikemen, with hussars, with heavy camels, with archery range, uh, heavy cavalry archers, and uh, hand cannon here. So I'm just going to be focused on the Mamluks because they're very powerful and that's all we need, frankly. And I'm going to be worried about the, uh, um, what are you doing? Get, get back there. And um, uh, trebuchets. That's all we're going to need along with the naval ships to take down um, these six docks. So right here in this uh, other segment. I'm going to get some more resources and get this stone pile. This stone pile will enable you to come down here and get more gold. And then uh, you can use a couple of petards, which I'm going to make right now. Um, you can put them out here and make about four petards or so, five petards, and take out this tower right there. And that will allow you to get some of this stone if you need it afterwards. Uh, and be very quick with the gathering this stone. I'm also going to go to the Imperial Age now. Um, you might want to get town and watch, but... Um, that will benefit your castles a little bit, but I'm not going to do that right now. With these guys, you want to keep them over here for right now. And uh, target specific forest area to uh, take down. Because you want to keep most of the forest intact to allow yourself to use those trees as a wall as well. So let's keep these guys in here. And hopefully Yusuf won't be attracted to our um, external mining out here. Way in the distance. Oh uh, crap. El Cid, get out here. We need you as a decoy because this wall has taken a beating lately. So get them out here. And it's ideal that we have another castle, but I'm a little slow on the uptake with the castle business. So I haven't been able to get another castle up. So we're going to have to continue to do baiting. Uh, and I repaired my castle from the last part. So come on, come on, come on. Get over here, get over here, get over here. Let's go. The rest will follow. All right, so they're going to go down, no problem. Oh yes, I don't have murder holes, so if that gate stayed, stayed open, I was screwed. So I recommend going for the cavalry archers first. They have three plus attack, uh, the Saracens do, against buildings. So it's important that you take them down. They actually do do damage. And the knights and camels are kind of bewildered. They have no idea what's going on in the scenario, so they don't even attack you. I don't know why. That's just screwed up. The camels just run away. Heck no. Oh my gosh, I thought those... What the heck? How the heck you get in here? Oh my gosh, how'd they get... This is ridiculous. Yusuf, get out of there. How did, How are you getting in here? How in the name of names did you get in here? I'm going to have to rebuild my whole villager force right now, which sucks. I don't really care about the mills and things. As long as I get that stone too, it'll be okay. But seriously, it's kind of a pain. Alright, so we're just going to track them. They'll take a little bit of time because they're ranged units to get over here, but we'll get back in here eventually. And go ahead, take down the villagers and the mills. I have 11 more villagers to make to uh, satisfy all those farms. And we're almost ready to build our second castle, so we should be fine uh, once I get rid of this uh, group of guys. And obviously you're not going to be able to get spies. It's 20,000 gold, and I guarantee you you don't have that gold, so don't even try it. Um, we want to get uh, two bow saw now, or two man saw, excuse me. And there are no other economic upgrades. I believe there's one at the mining camp. No, there's not even one at the mining camp. So... Uh, as far as economy, we're already, we're already done with what we can do. Uh, and now we can bring El Cid back into the fray again. And we can use these petards now to take down uh, this guard tower. And they're doing quick work of that stone, which you want to get rid of. And this is kind of a decoy for our stone our miners right now, which is actually somewhat of a good thing. And now we go to the university. You want to get chemistry and siege engineers. Those are two upgrades you do want to get because you want to have bombard cannons. And you want to be able to improve the power of your trebuchets and bombard cannons. So there's one more straggler knight and a couple more of these units. They're kind of petty units out there. And um, this is kind of a pain right now with not a second castle. And it's very important that you get a second castle, but we don't have it. So we got to live with what we have. And I don't know where the heck they're going. Unbelievable. It's like wild goose chase with these blackguard units. I'm just going to put a damper in this mining camp as well. Make it a little bit hotter for the villagers as they're mining. Oh, what's so hot? Oh, yeah, my mining camps are burning in your face. That's what it is. Okay, so where does El Cid? I send him back here. 
Alright, so we got a trio of knights I gotta take care of. Send them around. And I gotta re do something with this ball if everybody seed through here. This was a big mistake, a big oversight on my part. Makes it a little bit exciting for you guys, I think. Doesn't it? It must. Alright, so with these guys, now you have the opportunity to come down here and get this stone. Always go for stone before the gold. Stone means more gold in the end. And hopefully they're not attracted to my villagers. Jeez. They're just persistent with this wall. They want to get this wall down. Uh, and with this, I'm getting dry dock. I'm getting all the research technologies from the dock right now because later on, once I get uh, my own dock up to ready to take down the Blackguard Navy's docks, I want to have all those technologies available so I can go right into assaulting their dock without having to protect that dock for a while. Not that it's a huge problem, but uh, it's something. So keep these guys away. Take a little bit of a diagonal route towards your base first because you don't want to run into any more guard towers with your villagers and uh, it's okay if all these structures go down obviously it's not ideal but we got plenty of time and now we can get we don't want to get siege engineers because we're a little low on food and wood right now so things are a little bit little bit I don't know dangerously low in terms of economy right now so we want to hustle away with El Cid run the fastest you've ever run in your life. You actually might die, El Cid. Holy crap. Run, run, run. Oh my gosh, I actually almost died. Oh, frick. Now these villagers are going to die too. This is just lovely. Lovely. I'm losing villagers like they're dropping like flies right now. And you're running away and acting as a decoy. For our not, which is not what I want to have happen at all, whatsoever. You know, I need to start making more villagers now, and this has been a debacle so far. So we're just gonna make 15 off the bat because I need three groups of resources, and El Cid almost died. So I'm gonna throw a knight out there now, and it doesn't look like Yusuf's pulling the siege on me. And we'll get Cannon Galleon soon here in a little bit as well. Um, with these villagers, I'm gonna have them rebuild the stone wall and also. Uh, build a castle so this knight should be able to take both of these guys out no problem it's one thing knights are better than light cavalry they're more expensive obviously they cost gold this is a pretty good battle here pretty good battle back and forth oh and the knight prevails as you would expect so with these guys you want to send them over here and they're gonna be our farmers now I'm just gonna delete these farms that are freaking on fire and it's kinda of pissing me off so we got a couple more minutes in this video, about eight more minutes. And with these guys, I'm going to send them back to work. And these guys are going to be our rebuilders of this wall. I'm going to delete a lot of it. I got a little bit of a sore throat right now, so I'm probably not going to be doing it. I don't know. I'm trying to scale it down on how emotional I get and how much I say. It's because it's kind of annoying me. And so that that should set it off. That, I don't understand how they got through unless El Cid attracted them or did something. All right, so uh, you want to get our mills ready again. And you want to get them as far away from either the lake or uh, the mountains because you want to be able to structure your mills right around um, or structure farms right around the mills. And that was very close. That was eerily close to not, oh my gosh, to having another group s slip through. So now we can get this castle up, and you want to get the castle up right there. That's a good spot for it. And with these guys, you want to send them over here to get uh, continued food because food will obviously allow you to get to the uh, to the uh, the stone and the gold quicker as well. So uh, I'm gonna plop this down. And the only upgrades you want to you want to worry about are the Mameluke upgrades and the uh, blacksmith upgrades that will support your Mamelukes. Along with uh, hoardings and maybe siege engineers and things like that. Chemistry will allow us to get our battering rams. Or our bombard cannons, excuse me. So with these guys, once this blackguard group's gone, I'm going to send these guys out over here to get some wood. And hopefully we can do the same trick that we did with the stone over there. Because that is a vital group of wood you need to get in order to succeed. I'm not going to be using petards either. You could take down a couple of Yusuf's card towers while you're at it with the petards, but I'm not going to do that. It's kind of petty. Uh, the major... <laughs> not attacking Yusuf at the right time is probably your best strategy. Making sure that Yusuf sends an assault out at you before you assault your own is the best strategy that you can go with. So I'm going to get murder holes now because I might run into a situation. And of course, I don't have enough 
uh, food. That's always been the case, ever since my Age of Empires, Age of Kings walked through. So, six more minutes about, and we're going to continue plopping down farms. Make sure you structure them around so it's a little, as few steps as possible to each each mill, or to wherever, whatever mill you're going to. So, beautiful. And he's too close to attack, of course. And he's too far away to attack. Beautiful. It's a great combination. Deadly combination, actually. So these guys are ready to get out here, out into the open, and you want to set them, I would say, all the way out towards the corner. That might give them a little bit more of a chance of getting out of use of sights. I don't know what he's explored, and there's some forage bushes and deers over there, so if you want some food, uh, you can go over there as well. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We need five more farmers, uh, so we'll take f six of them because I'm probably going to need more food than anything else. And these guys can go mine. Um, I'm going to take one person to go continue to get to, uh, lumber. Because you're going to need a lot of lumber eventually for uh, those uh, those ships you make. So let's check out our dock upgrades. I'm not going to get this yet, but you want to get um, you want to get heavy demo ships for sure. So we're just going to sit here for a while, and then off screen, I'm just going to gather a bunch of resources and continue to get this stone. And hopefully... Are these farmers? Yeah, and hopefully um, I will be able to branch off in this video and show you guys this this stone, this stone uh, gold camp. So he's healing up. I, you want to put El Cid or one of your units in here, and it's nice because sometimes they can sneak through this wall. And now we can get murder holes, it looks like, and no fortified walls, unfortunately. So these guys are ready to work. We're going to plop these farms down for them. I swear a farm would fit in there. Don't question my farm architecture. Farm engineering, that's what it is. Okay, so a couple more farms and we'll be set with food for quite a while. I've got plenty queued up as well. So that's looking good. Farm, f lumber's looking good and stone's looking good for the meantime. Uh, they have a couple... S they usually uh, will always build a, a mining camp here. I don't know if the mining camp's positioned right away in this scenario. Uh, you might be able to pre prevent building of it. And don't worry if the Blackguard Navy sends units over here. They won't be on the aggressive and they won't assault you. So, Siege Engineers is not ready because it's tons of food for some reason. I guess because you're feeding engineers. That would make sense. And you're ready. So, let's check our 10 farmer, 2 idle villager. Alright, so they can be a miner. Uh, you want to get stone up as quickly as possible. Getting that stone up will allow you to uh, get that gold over here, which I was talking about, and uh, also getting this gold up uh, will allow you to get a castle up because you you need to get castle or some sort of defense to get uh, that amount of good, good amount of gold. You'll be able to use this castle as a decoy, and you won't get hit over here as much. And instead, they'll send their units down here. Uh, it's a small, isolated area. It's kind of like a bottleneck, and you'll be able to take them out with your castle and take out some Blackguard Navy units as well. So they're going to keep fishing out here, and they really deplete uh, the the sea's uh, uh, resources. So it looks like we're going to get hit. Uh, it's kind of expected at some point Yusuf gets on pretty aggressive, especially in this mining camp. Uh, so just drop off all the stone that you have at the uh, that moment, and we're just going to delete this because we don't want them to tarry here for too long, and then they'll just come over here to this castle, and we'll kill them, and we'll continue to send them out. So I'm going to get Siege Engineers and a couple more Villagers, three more Villagers. And you also want to get Bracer uh, at least pretty soon here to help your uh, castles out. So uh, a little bit left in this video. Got about a minute and a half. And then in the next part, I'm going to skip ahead after I got a bunch of this stone. And then I'm going to show you uh, how to build your, uh, your gold camp over here. And then I'm going to start producing units once I get that gold camp up. And uh, I'll eventually attack Yusuf after he comes with one of these types of salts, uh, which is the strategy you want to take. And ideally, you want to get these two castles in the action all at once. And I should be going for these heavy ca uh, for these cavalry archers first. That was my mistake. You can also make, if you're going to make uh, a ranged unit, you might want to make some hand cannoneers because you might actually use them in the end. Then you can plop them in this castle, but I'm not going to waste any of my resources on that. You can tell resources are pretty scarce on this map. And that's why I'm not producing heavy camels, champions, or inexpensive things like that. So I might want to repair this castle eventually. And these cavalry archers are very powerful against their, their uh, against buildings. So they're dangerous. Deal with them quickly. 
No, keep working over here. Don't you realize what I want is important? Jeez. Alright, so a couple more seconds, and I'm going to use these guys to repair this castle. And these, all of these guys should be killed before these villagers get out. And no, maybe not. Oh my gosh, I'm getting hit from every which direction. So I'll see you guys next time after I take out this assault force. I'm going to get some more resources and start getting my army up. And then the next part, we'll meet up and get that gold camp.